now that I've been put through I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever smoke up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement What's up guys, Master Styles here with another eternal evolution video and today patch notes are out oh man guess what though oh my goodness you know what we're gonna wait till we go to the patch notes i did look over them and i see that they got the double chip event they brought it back and for me you know you know my you know my thing i'm trying my hardest not to over summon but that's a lot of tickets yeah and that's the problem with me but again when i look at the double chip event it's great but at the same time these are the heroes that we have right if they can do additional heroes in there that would be interesting obviously this will change because it'll be a different hero banner but at the same time those are the heroes we have and you can see my data chip there that's what it is what would be nice is they actually give us some other things we can actually purchase in here that would be nice right put a chaos crystal in here let's finally introduce the super breakthrough crystal right the the universal one right that would be interesting just saying just saying but let's actually hop over to the patch notes in the game of course i don't want to go to discord and neither do i want to go to facebook but let's go see what they got <clears throat> all right so as always 500 diamonds I already spoke about what they should do done talking about that I looked over the new hero skills and as of right now I'm not impressed could he be good yes but at the same time from what I'm seeing I didn't get the shield removal I was asking for but just went over the skills and I was like eh, okay cool interesting all right so let's see what they got new heroes and hero optimizations there's no other hero being optimized why did they even have that just say new hero okay new hero smith master of fire he is an triple less he is an triple s level terran hunter hero no he is a triple s terran hunter hero what do you mean and okay weird anyways smith switches plasma rifle mode to cannon mode each shot causes a small area explosion what do you mean by small for a few seconds so the explosion continues after the fact okay in rifle mode attacks the target a few times dealing damage equal to a percentage of attack each time in cannon mode, the number of attack increases a few times and also inherit all basic attack effects of cannon mode. Okay. Every few basic attack by Smith activates the effect, deals damage and stuns targets for a few seconds. Death effect. Upon death, summons a Terran controlled by a uh, Finite companion the Terran inherits attack defense crit rate crit damage attack speed and HP equal to a percentage of attack with damage Taken reduced the Terran permanently enters cannon mode and inherits stunning shot Okay interestingly enough so when He dies the Terran gets summoned which is better him or the Terran, right? Which one's gonna be doing the most, the better damage? That's also the other question. But sounds interestingly enough. That's the interesting thing about him is that once he dies, he basically summons a Terran, and hopefully that Terran is ripping through stuff. That would be nice. He'll limit damage, right? So new events and event optimizations. This week we continue the joyous atmosphere of the anniversary celebration more great gifts on the way anniversary event this week token of gratitude to express our gratitude for 
your support and love for the game. I do love this game. Log in to get second anniversary gifts, okay? Is it the same box from last time or is it going to be different? Interestingly enough, a new event, Heroes Him, will open on all servers. During the event, you can challenge the bosses in daily instance to get the event items, champion badge, which can be gifted to your favorite heroes. Every time you give a gift, you will get a honor gift box. Okay, hopefully they got some goodies in there. When the accumulated gifts reach a certain amount, you can get valuable rewards. Mm, I love the sound of that. The hero with the most gifts will be sent as a reward to all players participating in this event after the event ends. Okay, similar to that of what last year? Was it last year or this year? I can't remember. But the Valentine's Day event, I think they had Nord in there. It's probably going to be a triple S. Don't think for a second it'll be an SP. Triple S. But more importantly, right? Forget all of that. Yeah, great, great. It's great that they have all of that. That's that's fun and all. But guess what's back? A new double jump event will open on all servers. Love that. During the event, you can get double data chips for every recruit in the limited recruitment. Huge. Seven days and on top of a new hero too. So you know we're going to pull. You know we're going to do it. And as you can see from my tickets there, I'm going to try. I'm going to try not to overspend. Yeah, because I know because after the following week, there's also going to be a new Awakened Hero. Okay. Celebration gift boxes are still being distributed at random times. Open the gift boxes to receive rewards. Don't forget to check in and claim them in time. A new limited recruitment event will open on most servers. During the event, you can recruit Smith. Of course, the elites don't matter. Don't want to see them. All I want to see is Smith. Don't play with me. Okay. But that, there you have 21 days to get you a copy. Carabin off banner, right? Interestingly enough. Okay. We already know Space Time Symphony. You know how that one works. You want to get up to 180, but chances are you're going to end up pulling more than that because of the double chip event. Titanium coin shop. You have to wait till the shop opens up, get as much coins as you can within the two days, and it resets at five and five in the afternoon, depending on where your time is. The Muzo's Bell. We already know it's going to have Rebecca's Soul Crystal and also Dominic's Memory Days. I haven't gotten anything off of that in probably about four cycles now. Before that, I was getting at least both. So. Let's see how that one goes. Details gathering, it has to do with Muzo's Bells. Those are the rusted gears, need that to spin the wheel, pretty much, right? Premium development, that's for the spenders. Gill versus Gill, nothing new there. And of course, your favorite game, mode that I can't stand. I can't stand it, it's so annoying. Interstellar exploration, that's coming back. But the good thing about Interstellar is the shop. That's the one thing I love about it. In Interstellar, you get a soul crystal of one of the Awakenable heroes. And you can also get two, actually, if you're doing well. And you also get a fusion chip. So that's cool there and potentially a hero if you need it. So now, what else do we got going on? There's no bug fixes, interestingly enough. So there's no issues, right? I see that. I was looking. I'm looking there. Game contents, adjustments, and optimization. Extended Crimson Abyss levels. Why? Added new levels 36 to 40 to Crimson Abyss. Why? Can we get skip button for Katojian Triangle? That would be nice. Oh, wait, they have Katojian Triangle here. Extended Katojian Triangle levels. Added new levels 31 to 35. So, Roulette of Truth, Battlefield of Azura, Crimson Rock, Mirage Space, Molten Abyss, and Thundercliff. Um, I can't even get to 
25 on some of these things, much less now you're going to talk about 35. Got to give the whale something to do, right? Okay. Optimize interstellar exploration to maintain the fairness in the game. The number of times players can manually modify the defense lineup each day has been adjusted to 30. That is a lot. <laughs> that is still a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. Sure. But that's the patch notes there. Um, double chip event. Beautiful. But like I said, it would be nice if they just add, you know, something else to this. Right. Because for me right now, I have 400. And then by the time I summon tomorrow, I'll, be have, I'll have over 800. And it's just these heroes. Uh, Trojan is Immortal 5. Maybe we, maybe we can push up Becky to a higher levels. But again, they just need to add something else there. I'm not doing all of that. I might do two, 240. I think 240 is what I need because I want to do this, right? I'm very close with her, as you can see here. Very close there. I need seven more. But the thing that I was thinking is that I would get her to two copies and then make that video. So you want to stay tuned for that, definitely. But again, those are the patch notes. You know, if you saved up your tickets, and that's primarily how I, what I was doing because I was waiting to, you know, do the summons there. We end up getting this. Just a quick progress here. So what I'm actually focusing on is actually Connor. I just want to max him out so I don't have to worry about purchasing him in Hell, the Hell Arena shop, which is annoying because I want to get the tickets. I can't because I have to worry about them. But my Connor here, where is he? So he's already there. I just need to get another copy with him and then we can f move over to working on Heindel and then the new hero after that and so forth, right? Because the other ones are already maxed. And let's look at Connor here. What do I have for him? I basically have nothing. Yeah, I have nothing because I just brought him there. But again, if you made it this far, comment down below, double chip event it's back this is what y'all been asking for here it is honestly i'll be honest with you i don't really care for it i don't as a new player it's great but for me where i am now i don't really care for it just to be honest just saying but if you're new around here make sure you hit the subscribe button what do you get updates guides walkthroughs tier lists and of course if you're new make sure you check out that fun to play series i'm actually going to make a video over there at some point but for those that are rocking with me, let me know down in the comments how you feel about the double chip event and of course the new game mode and all of that fun stuff. Without further ado, I want to thank you for watching. Till the next video, peace.